In this video, we are going to talk about how to turn your ideas into articles. Really, really simple um, by just talking into a phone, for example. So um, everybody knows or everybody who's been producing articles or trying to write stuff with GPT, AI models know that they often get specific details wrong and they don't really write in the tone of voice and style that you would like to have them written in, especially when it's your ideas. Um, so I thought of a system where, what if I could just talk into my phone while I was driving, hands-free of course, and then um, once I'm done driving, I will just upload these audio files to Google Drive and then articles will magically appear on my website. And that's exactly what I built. So let me just show you the ins and outs of it. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you like it. So let me get my head out of the way. Let's uh, go down here. So this is one of the articles that has been produced by my ramblings. Um, this is specifically on why you need to tell AI exactly what you want, because it's AI struggles with abstract ideas and need needs data context. And that means uh, it's a bit cryptic and there's a reason for that. But in essence, it means that you need to give it a shitload of context in order to produce what you actually want it to produce. So it generated uh, the images, the headlines, um, all the images in here and down here. So made all of this and uploaded to my WordPress site. How we're doing this is through a make script. I call this make script car talk. So in essence, goes in and looks at my Google Drive every 15 minutes or so. And then it takes my audio files. And uh, I've actually put in a translation module here because when I speak, I speak more fluently in Danish than uh, sometimes more fluently in Danish. It depends on the day. Um, but anyways, it translates all the languages you could imagine into English. And from there, then goes ahead and generates an outline. We then go ahead and introduce a critique on the outline because it's super hard to get a specific outline that doesn't repeat itself. Um, so having AI not write fluff is like very hard to do. Um, so we critique the outline, we then write a better outline, then create transcript instructions because we have a whole transcript here. So we're telling, making instructions on how to use the transcript. We then create a title, a featured image, um, or we, we create the featured image prompt, then we create the image, then cre we create a record in Airtable. So this is Airtable where we then put all of this in. Um, we have an HTTP model module for um, creating, I think it's the image. No, it uh, takes the images from the, uh, yeah, from air tables. We then resize them, put them into WordPress. We then iterate in order to create the old images and put them, we need to upload the old images like in text images. Whoops, this one, these ones in here in the middle of the text, these, these needs to be uploaded to WordPress before you create an article because you cannot place in text images into WordPress article before you, you need to upload the images first. So we do all that here and create the, uh, image all text and resize them and make them JPEG and all that SEO JSON. We then create a meta description. We actually could move the meta description over here. We then write the whole blog post. Um, then we 
collect the blog post again, like uh, put it together, um, use Markdown, no, convert it from Markdown into HTML, create a slot name, create the post on WordPress, and then update the Airtable node, and then we move the audio recording to a folder so we don't, so we can see that we actually process this one. Um, and this is how it looks in Airtables. Then I get all these with titles and status here and the transcript in English, um, with the outline here and the full article, but you, I can also see them in WordPress. The featured image and here are all the alt images that need to be formatted in Markdown, metas, WordPress ID, URLs, and when we created them. Um, so yeah, the only other thing I have is my tone of voice, um, which is a tone of voice and writing style guide, which helps write, like create the articles in the tone of voice and in the writing style that I like. So I create tone of voice and writing style guide, and then I add a writing example. And it uses this every time we create a section. So you can see here, we pull in the tone of voice. And I, like I always try and say, do not add fluff, do not be verbose, like all the time telling it, do not add fluff. So this um, is how I like get my ideas down onto digital paper in a structured way. Um, there's a bit of formatting in this, so they will, I don't publish them right away. I actually add them to WordPress as drafts. And then from there, um, I go into WordPress and then edit them and then publish them. But more or less like it's a few tweaks I need because it's my ideas. It's me talking about the subject. So it gets all the specifics correct. It just rearranges all my babbling into a nicely formatted structure. And then I can easily post them on my website. Um, so it's my opinions. It's my language and it's my idea. Yeah. You get the idea. <laughs> so hope this was uh, helpful. If you want to get these scripts that I use, then uh, click link in the description and join uh, the community. It's completely free and you get all the scripts and you can do all this yourself. So um, happy blogging and talking. <laughs>